Mr. Chair, the Komawura Mo and Bulavinaka, I wish to commend and thank the Government of Fiji and you yourself, the Honourable Agriculture Minister for Fiji, for your warm welcome and excellent arrangements. I also wish to convey my sincere thanks and congratulations to the Government of Fiji for bringing this conference to the Pacific region. This is the opportune time for our small island states to share our unique vulnerabilities relating to food and nutrition security that are specific to our region. On behalf of the Republic of Nauru and His Excellency Baron Wanga, the President of the Republic of Nauru, I wish to take this opportunity to thank FAO for its continued assistance in addressing our food security and nutrition priorities of our small island nation. Nauru acknowledges the significant achievement made in reducing food insecurity, malnutrition and agriculture development that are fundamental to the 2030 Agenda and the achievement of SDGs. This is evident with the decline in the prevalence of undernourishment and stunting in boys and girls in our region. Nauru recognises the importance of food and nutrition security in its national sustainable development strategy and through various international and regional forums together with our Pacific brothers and sisters we have voiced the value we place on our land and our ocean that we live off. Nauru appreciates the assistance of FAO through the country programming framework that was completed in August 2017 for Nauru. One of the major successes of the program is the training component on agroforestry, crop production, and nutrition, where agriculture staff, community members, women, students, youth, and school caterers are more nutrition sensitive and have the basic know-how to grow their own food. However, there is still much work to be done for the people of Nauru to fully realize the benefits of food security and nutrition. The Minister responsible for Agriculture is also the President of Nauru, His Excellency the Honorable Baron Wanga. In this regard, the agriculture sector is driven at the highest level. The CPF 2018 to 2022 has been signed by the President and welcomes the commencement of the program. Nauru acknowledges FAO's commitments to our small island developing states under the Samoa pathway in progressing the acceleration of actions on food security and nutrition through the Inter-Regional Initiative on SIDS. However, Nauru would like the GAP to highlight, or GAP, to highlight the special challenges of our small island nation regarding climate change, land degradation, and the lack of capacity. <coughs> Policies and regulatory frameworks to accomplish food safety, food security, and nutrition. One of our greatest challenges in trying to accomplish these is changing people's lifestyles. There is a desire to live healthier lives in Nauru. So I invite FAO, IFAD, and other regional and international agencies to come up with innovative ways of guiding our people to change their lifestyles and to assist Nauru provide, to, to assist Nauru to provide that enabling environment that will facilitate this process. I look forward to seeing how resources are mobilized through the gap. Nauru shares the challenges of climate change, the economic vulnerability that comes with it, and the triple burden of malnutrition. We here in the Pacific are the litmus for climate change. The impact here in the region is not only quicker felt, but the intensity of the impact is stronger. Our country is susceptible to the effects of climate change and is feeling the brunt of sea level rise and erratic periods of drought. There has been incidents where we have lost a significant number of drought-tolerant plants that we wanted to distribute to the community. Significant landscape degradation has occurred with almost 90% of our land being uninhabitable and unproductive. The restoration of these lands is essential to the future well-being of our people and food security for Nauru. We call for the assistance of FAO and development partners and financial institutions to support Nauru in its endeavor to restore our lost land. Health is another priority area where NCDs are the leading cause of mortality, morbidity and disability in Nauru, with 79% of deaths in Nauru being NCD related. The magnitude of these challenges is far too great for Nauru to deal with alone. The ocean and its resources and what we call here in the region the blue economy plays an important role in the global food security. To help protect our ocean's resources, Nauru wishes to see FAO continue its efforts in the implementation of the agreement on port state measures to prevent 
prevent, deter and eliminate RUU fishing, particularly in the area of capacity development for Nauru to fully realise the agreement. Another area of interest for Nauru is the development of the FAO catch documentation scheme that can further eliminate RUU fishing. World Tuna Day is also another significant initiative that is of importance to the conservation of our marine resources as the sustainability of tuna fisheries is increasingly threatened. NARU requests FAO to enhance its participation to this annual event. NARU will be serving as chair of the Parties of the Nauru Agreement in July this year, and we look forward to the discussions around our challenges and priorities with FAO, other agencies and development partners in the protection of our ocean's resources. In closing, Mr. Chair, NARU will be hosting the 49th Pacific Islands Forum meeting in September this year. I urge our Pacific brothers and sisters to utilize this forum to come up with tangible outcomes that will help address national and regional priorities, including food safety, food security, and nutrition for our nations. Nakawakalewu, Tobakar.